morning. Good morning. I'm Matt. It's chilly to be outside. <laughs> I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you've just joined us for Matt and Randy in the morning so that we can encourage you through the word to be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just want to welcome you all to December 19th. Christmas yes. is coming. It's right around the corner. Uh, it's going to be here so fast and gone so fast. Yes, that's true. Um, it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful time of year if you have the right attitude. And that sometimes is not an easy task for a lot of people. Uh, they just get caught up. Uh, don't get caught up in the hustle and bustle and the business end of Christmas yes. uh, and forget the reason of Christmas. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I pray, Lord, for our, our listeners today, God, that your Holy Spirit would touch them right where they are at, yes. that your presence would come and just be with them so that they might know that you are near and that you love yes, them. Lord. And you care for them. And you are there to help them. Amen. Lord, I pray and ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us just not lose sight that you got it all under control in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I'm not referring to political things. Because I, oh, God, I know God's got that under control. But life <clears throat> this year has uh, thrown a curveball to so many people. Uh, I wanted to look back and take a look real quick at um, what we got for, for memories for Christmas. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody that's online for some reason. So I'm going to back out for a second and see if I can Go get that in. restarted because it's not showing me whether anybody's online again, which is odd. I don't understand why it does that sometimes. So let's go backwards and find my page. <laughs> Maybe. Getting there. And pick the right one. There we go. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, I want to just talk really quick about memories. Uh, I, I want to remember Christmas mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, I want to... First, to ask Randy. I asked her this the other night. What is like your best Christmas memory? Like you, the time you got the the one present that you really wanted. There's just so many. I know you told me something times. like a bicycle or yeah. Um, one year I remember when we lived in Puerto Rico, uh, a bicycle. My parents got me a bicycle. A bicycle. Yes. Talk to the camera. A bicycle. A bicycle. A bicycle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's I wasn't a, very girly as far as I didn't care for having Christmas, dolls that, or anything like that. That's like Christmas memory. When we were kids and we were growing up, I mean, pretty much you, as far as I remember, we, we, I had two older brothers and two older sisters, uh, five kids. So pretty much for, for us, we got one, one main gift every year. Yeah. Uh, this particular year was in, in the early seventies. We lived in Massachusetts. Um, Good afternoon. And... Good afternoon, Don Silla. We lived in Massachusetts, and I, I had really wanted walkie-talkies and snowshoes. Now, that's funny <laughs> being in Florida, snowshoes. We had a blizzard that particular uh, Christmas as well, so the blizzard brought two feet of snow, so it was a perfect gift to get the snowshoes um, and the walkie-talkies, and I also buy... buy uh, Additional gift from a grandparent. I got a ski suit Ski suits back then were one piece. It's like an overall thing that you you had to zipper up the front You put your legs in you put your arms in you zipped it up and it kept you all bundled and warm with my snowshoes And I could walk on top of the snow now keep in mind. I I'm in third grade well got that wonderful gift and that was our last year Living in Massachusetts before we moved down to Florida, and I never got to use the snowshoes or the ski suit again. And I have no idea what happened to the walkie talkies. You know what I just remembered? There is one. I was thinking of childhood memories, 
But I would say the most memorable one, and surprising one, which should be for both of us, was in Georgia, the year that somebody knocked on our door that we didn't expect. We had no money. We were broke. We didn't just... We just didn't have any money for gifts and stuff like that for the kids or anything. Um, I had gotten scraps of little, you know, you go to the place to cut the Christmas trees. Um, you cut those scraps and you make a nice Christmas tree out of all the scraps in a, in a jar. So we get a knock on the door and this family comes with a bunch of gifts. And it had taken us totally by surprise. I mean, it's like we didn't know these people. Nobody knew our situation, but God did. Mm -hmm. And do you know that each one of those gifts were exactly what each one of us had in our heart? I had looked at a Target ad and had seen a robe that I wanted. And I thought, oh, that would be so nice to have. That robe was given to me that Christmas. Matthew, was it boots? What was boots. it? That, boots. His size. My perfect. size. Perfect fit, which I never... I never buy boots without trying them on. Steven, I believe, got the hockey stuff he wanted. I don't yeah. remember what cards. Each one of us got exactly what we wanted from somebody which we didn't know. We never told anybody that we wanted these things. So that was a very memorable God showed us, I know what you want. I have your heart, and I love you. Amen. We, uh, I want to go from the liver worst to the living best Christmas. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I was 18 years old. It was two weeks before Christmas in 1982. Uh, I was working at Epcot Center and I got terminated. Uh, I got fired. I got fired for horsing around. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> you know, for cutting jokes and, and horsing around and not taking things seriously. Uh, and I was terminated and I was already out on my own. I had moved out when I was 17, so I had bills to pay. Now I got no job right before Christmas. Uh, and I remember that particular Christmas because um, I, I didn't feel good. I felt, I felt bad because I didn't have money or gifts to give to anybody. And, and there's nothing like going to a family Christmas gathering and everybody's giving each other gifts and I, I got nothing. And it, it felt it felt bad. I mean, it, it made it made me feel feel sad. Well, eventually, I did get another job, and as you know, the job was at the Royal Plaza, where I met Randy, where she took <laughs> us to took took me uh, to church, and uh, I gave my heart to the Lord and uh, accepted Jesus as my Savior, which simply yeah. means I acknowledge that I have failed and that He paid the price. And I went from the worst Christmas to Amen. the best. Amen. Uh, because now I looked away from the busyness and I had lost sight that Christmas is not really about giving gifts to everybody and getting gifts from everybody and decorating with Christmas trees and putting lights on the house and, and cooking a ham or, or turkey. And, and, and it is the things that we do at Christmas, but we must never lose sight of what Christmas is really about. And it's about the greatest gift ever. It's about Jesus. He came and was born and that's what we celebrate during this time. Yes. The rest of the stuff is just fringe benefits. This year may be tighter for you. So what better gift, what better way to share with your family than to share the good news yes. of Jesus? Amen. If you have to, sit down and watch Charlie Brown's Christmas. Yes. Because Charlie Brown's Christmas is a very true Christ-centered Christmas story about yep. the real meaning of Christmas. Yep. And it is something that today's day and age uh, is often skipped. Yep. Uh, grab a hold of the meaning of Christmas and be thankful for the gift that you've yes. given. Yes. This is what it says in Romans chapter, chapter 6, verse 23. Read that real quick. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The wages of sin is death. That was the worst Christmas. 
I received, to me, a death sentence, termination from Disney. My visions, my hopes, my plans, my goals. Uh, I wanted to work for Disney. I wanted to be an animator, um, and I got fired. And so everything came crashing down. And then God changed my view. God changed my plans. God changed my friends. God changed the place that I lived. God changed everything yes. that I held as important was gone. He delivered me from drugs, delivered me from alcohol, and took those things away from my life mm -hmm. until they not only had no desire for them, but they became repulsive mm -hmm. in my life. And instead, all I wanted to do was gather together with people and read the Bible and learn about Jesus and learn about the history of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. This Christmas is a perfect time for you to yes. put your eyes on Jesus. Amen. And thank the Lord for His wonderful gift of salvation. Yeah. He gives it freely. Won't you accept it today? Yeah. You can answer that. Yes. <laughs> if you do accept it, pray and ask God to just come into your heart and Amen. help you. Find a church, get involved, read the Bible, spend time in prayer, because God has great plans for you. Yeah. I'm going to finish with 2 Samuel, still like I was yesterday, 2 Samuel 22, verse 31. This is what it says. It says, As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in Him. Amen. Keep a praise song in your heart. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. You guys go with God and He'll go with you. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow morning. morning. Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow is Sunday, 11 a.m. live stream at church. If you have not gone back to church or you have not been to church in a while, please come down and visit us. Yes. We have a very socially friendly environment in which there are tables set up to keep everybody yeah. distance. There's coffee, there's time, there's fellowship. Tomorrow there's a potluck. Tomorrow there's a potluck <laughs> at church. Right after. Uh, right after church. So there's food, there's time. Uh, it's just going to be a wonderful time together yes. to come and fellowship with us. Again, our live stream will start at 11 a.m. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.